in the early 1700s, at the very crack of the 18th century, there were two women living in Northampton in the village of Elmdale. Their names were Eleanor Shaw and Mary Phillips. They were both young women, apparently quite attractive women. They were also burned as witches in 1705. As far as I know, the last witches to be burned in the whole of Europe. Uh, there are some interesting things about this particular case. One of them is the youth and apparent beauty of the two women condemned. This is a far cry from the standard uh, medieval picture of the witch as a toothless howling crone. You start to come to the conclusion that maybe attractive women were hung and burned and pilloried because this was a long time before easily available adult video hire. If someone wanted some titillation at the weekend, they just didn't have the options that we have now. They couldn't get electric blue volumes one through five. They had to go and watch someone in the stocks or somebody kicking at the end of a rope or somebody frying on a bonfire. Now, when things started to go wrong for Mary and Eleanor, was around the time when a local woman who had been widowed and was thus without a man in her bed had complained of this to the two witches who promised that they would send her something to ease her frustration and her longing. What they sent her was apparently, by her own account, two strange, blind, mole-like animals who shared her bed with her and uh, I'm quoting here, suckled her nether parts front and back. Um, she was apparently so alarmed by this that after three or four nights of it, she alerted the local minister, one parson Jack. Now, why I personally am uncertain as to whether these just were two victimised women or whether they might not have been involved in some sort of magical operation is the reports that come after their arrest. These are not the hysterical, crucible-type reports from sort of adolescent girls who are anxious for attention or whatever. These are reports of things seen by numerous people after the witches have been imprisoned. They were hung uh, to almost the point of death and then were tied to the stake and burned. When I was younger, my mother told me that I should never call somebody a bastard because they might really be one. Perhaps you could extend that to say that you should never accuse somebody of being a witch for exactly the same reason.